It's a Monday night. David's dad comes home from a long day. He's tired. As he enters his home, he hears the sounds of laughter. He walks into the living room and smiles for a moment as he sees David and two of his close friends laughing and jostling each other on the couch as they watch a movie. David's dad calls out, hey, did you get your homework done? David looks at his friends. They all start to laugh and he looks back at his dad and says, sure. David's dad walks across the room, gets close to David, looks him in the eye and says, David, is your homework done? David looks sheepish and then looks down for a moment and looks up and says, no. David's dad says, okay, guys, you all need to go home because David needs to finish his homework. David says, but dad, there's only 30 more minutes to the movie. David's dad looks him in the eye and says, we don't watch movies during the week until all our homework is done. David gets up and he goes to the kitchen table and opens his homework and David's dad escorts the friends out the door. Is this constructive parenting? Yes, it is. David's dad, though tired, takes a moment to watch his son and his friends, sees that they're, you know, having a good time, nothing bad is happening. But it is a Monday, and the rule is that homework must be done before anybody plays. He recognizes that David may or may not have told him the truth when he called to him from across the room. It's a lot more effective to get close to a person and look them in the eye before you ask them a serious question, because then you really have their attention. So David's dad recognizes, you know, David is really paying attention to his friends, not to him. So he comes across the room, he looks David in the eye and he says again, David, did you get your homework done? Dad gives David time to think about it because adults think much more quickly than teens do. And David needs time to not only understand what his, Dave, what his dad has asked him, but also to think about both the immediate and longer term consequences to his answer. David looked sheepish. This is the sign that he's realized to himself, gee, you know, I've lied to my dad. And he looks up at his dad and he tells him the truth, that he hasn't done his homework. David's dad then says to the friends, you've got to go home. He doesn't yell at them. He doesn't call them names. He just calmly says, guys, homework's not done. You've got to go home. David tries to push the boundaries of who's in charge by saying, oh, dad, there's only 30 minutes left. David's father doesn't yell or lose control. He just says, no, the rule is we don't have fun and play until our work is done. David recognizes his dad's authority at this point, goes up to do his homework. And David's dad pleasantly escorts the friends out. This was constructive parenting, where David's dad understands teen development. She's calling Kayla a thief.